Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today I am playing Traps and Gemstones. Now, this game is a side-scrolling adventure platformer, though the difficulty is fairly casual from what I've seen so far. Uh, it also began its life as a cell phone game and was later ported to PC, which is how I'm playing it today. I should warn you though that I have not played a whole lot of this game, so the further I get into it, the less I'm going to know about what's going on. Welcome, explorer. Your adventure begins here. As you might have heard, strange things have been going on inside this pyramid. My brothers are waiting for you down there. They will explain your mission in greater detail. Please help us set things straight. You are our last hope. Uh, the controls are fairly simple. You can move around, you can jump, uh, there is a button for swinging a whip, though you do not start the game with one, uh, and you can also tuck and roll, which is useful for getting through smaller passages or breaking pots. Uh, there is also a map screen, which shows you your general position within the tomb, um, your current score and your best score, which don't really have a purpose other than showing you how much you've collected since the last time you died. Um, the secret, I believe these are the secrets you found and some sort of secret emblems you found. Uh, up here is the items you've collected so far, which are mostly just like if there's a dark room, you need to find a torch. And as long as you have the torch in your inventory, you're able to go through it. Uh, and then down here are the relics, which will be explained a little bit later. Uh, for now though, let's enter the pyramid. Uh, like I said, the score is basically just the game's way of showing you how far you've progressed since the last time you died. Um, touching any enemy will instantly kill you, but all that does, it, you have an infinite number of lives, and it will just make you restart the room you're currently in, or I believe you can warp back to the camp at the top of the screen. Or the top of the, uh, tomb. Look at all those large boulders blocking the liftway. Seems like someone is trying to stop us. Wonder who that could be. Anyway, there is only one way to clear up this mess. With a few sticks of dynamite! Oh, and by the way, you will need to get yourself a weapon first. There is a surprise for you in a wooden crate. If you find it, you will find it if you head left. Alright. That's the only real direction I can go because of mummies. Uh, information. To get through tight passages, try rolling. It's worth the effort. In fact, it's the only way to get through... Ooh, it's the only way to get through smaller passages. Uh, there seems to be no fall damage either, which is very nice. Uh, caution, be careful around pots. They are sensitive and could break if you roll over them. It's just the game's way of uh, letting you know that even without a whip, you can still break pots. Oop. Just a mummy spawning in so you don't try to leave the room without getting the whip. Uh, hit M or return. Uh, I I set the map button to M. I'm not sure what it is as default anymore. And every time you get an item, it will pop into the map screen to let you know that you've picked it up. So now I can whip the hell out of bad guys. I believe the first time you kill an enemy during a particular life, it will give you a at least one coin. It seems once you've broken pots a single time, you don't really need to break them again because I think they're going to be empty every time after. Have you found any explosives yet? Give it time, man. I got mummies to kill. Uh, switches, I believe, yeah, you can move them either by walking over them or by uh, 
hitting them with the whip. Uh, what's over here? A whole lot of coins. Uh, and I have now found a dynamite, which, as usual, pops into the item screen to let you know that you have at one point owned a stick of dynamite. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Now, a lot of the game comes from, uh, all right. a lot of the game comes from finding relics and putting them on pedestals, which will unlock other areas of the dungeon. And enemies seem to also only give you the one coin per life. I see you have a few sticks of dynamite. Excellent! All you have to do now is place the load as close to those boulders as possible. Now be careful. The lift also seems to move to whatever area you are at, so you don't have to worry about getting stuck somewhere. Alright, now we've made it past the boulders. Crates may be heavy, but they can still be moved with a forceful blow. So you strike crates with your whip in order to move them, but if they fall, they will break. So it's an easy way to make little stairs for yourself as you go. Uh, so this puzzle, you need an item that is a weight, because otherwise there's no way you're making it through those, those three very dangerous looking spikes. Alright, so I've got everything that I can in that area. I do not... Well, that's kind of neat. Looks like the wipe... The, the wipe... The whip actually hits it and stops. Now, I don't know how to make it through there, but that pedestal, you put a relic on, and then it would lift that... Uh, lift that... Sort of heavy door. I don't know who that guy is, but he looks like a monkey wearing men's clothing. And yes, that sound is actually coming from the game. Help! Thank you, hero. My name is Farid. Did you see that red-bearded man? Oh, you mean the monkey? I was guarding some of the relics when he showed up out of nowhere. He, th he threatened me and tied me up. Oh, it was horrible. To make matters worse, the relics seem to have disappeared. He must have stolen them. This is bad. Very bad. The relics are what maintains peace here in the pyramid. Not being in their designa designated spots will disturb the balance. Someone needs to find the relics and put them back where they belong. Better sooner than later. Oh, I see you need something of just the right weight to pass the big spears. You'll find something appropriate in the crate above. Uh, you actually cannot move past that glowing green field at the right. Open up the item screen to show that now we have a weighted uh, Egyptian triangle of sorts. Uh, you cannot actually leave the lift while it's in motion, so I do not know how to get that uh, that last gem up there. Oddly enough, oh, and you also whip bags of money in order to get all the coins. For whatever reason, the coins themselves are worth ten and the gems are worth one. I'm going to go back up. And make it past the spears. I think this is the spear room. Maybe. 
head past the spears so that I can uh, see what's over on this side. Put the weight in place. And now the spears will not fall while I try to pass. Uh, okay, I, this is close to the last part I have made it to. Uh, you don't seem to be able to use your whip underwater. Yeah, the little icon even goes away from the top left of the screen. And you do have an air meter. Which the best I can figure means that uh, you just have to avoid enemies. Is that water going to go back up? Well, that stinks. Ah, shit, I died. Alright. Like I said, dying just resets your score and brings you back to where you entered the room. And I cannot... I don't seem to be able to make it... to jump high enough to make it through... Uh, to that secret. Gotta be very careful of the jellyfish. You do keep all of your other progress though, so if you get partially through a very difficult room, then uh, die and you need to leave, that can make you quick to the exit. These buttons will change the position of blue or red boxes toggle between them. Uh, I am going to peek into this room for now, though. Again, I don't know what that, like, crinkly stuff is, or... Uh, apparently you can't kill the Egyptian guy. Yeah, it's showing a little red circle and he doesn't seem to be taking too much damage, if any. It's kind of like that uh, spot in VVV VVV where you have to be very careful as you're going up and down through a very long, difficult room. might be back through there, so I think I'm going to try and get that other thing in a minute. Uh, so I got one of those triangles, whatever that means, and all those keys I've been picking up, which you can see at the top left of the screen, they're used to open these chests which are how you find the lost relics. Which uh, each of them you get also fills in that giant uh, 5x5 cube at the bottom there. Um, I don't really know what this room is all about. Oh, there's a dude. Help! Thank you, comrade. My name is Kareem. Welcome to the Golden Statuette Room. This room is the home of ver three very special relics. Three golden figurines. Can you find them all, my friend? Come back here, or come back when you have all three. Well, I all I have is a stone tablet of some sort. Um, ooh, and that stone tablet is the one for this pedestal, which lifts up... Uh, those stone walls. That's basically how the progression in this game goes. You keep uh, finding relics to unlock certain areas of the tomb itself. Um, have I been? Yeah, I've been through here. I'm not going to keep going back and collecting all the uh, the points that I've 
already gone through. Help! Thank you, kind stranger. My name is Adil. As you might have heard, our precious relics have been stolen. We need your help to find them all and return them to their respective spots. There are 25 of them, so it might take a while. The perpetrator seems to have locked them up in chests, just like the one above me. Now I'm going to teach you how you can help us. Please follow my instructions carefully. This probably would have been better to be made to go through before I was already using relics. First, grab the key. Good. Now open the chest. Very good. And now walk to the holy pedestal and return the relic you found. Which is the Ankh. Excellent, you now understand the basics. This area kind of reminds me of uh, old Donkey Kong Country, where there's the barrels that shoot you. Still have four keys. Uh, five keys now. Kind of a weird sound that they make when uh, you pick them up. Okay. I guess I wasn't supposed to go to the left yet. Actually, there's a relic up there I can go pick up. I do not know what that head on the wall to the left is, but I have a feeling it seems pretty ominous. Uh, so I got another stone tablet. Oh, that's nice. was good because now I have another key. Um, whoops. Alright, gonna have to try that room again. Jesus, didn't mean to uh, jump nearly that fast. Uh, does that one have another key? No. For whatever reason, you can use the whip to break um, plants and such. Uh, novice Adventure. I don't know what that achievement is, but I now have it. Ah, right in the back of the old dome piece. check these bags first and probably go down here first. Uh, hmm. I have a feeling I timed that incorrectly. All 
right. Ah, I can't get into that room. But for now, uh, it seems it's time to cut the video short. I'm really enjoying this game and I'm going to keep playing it. Uh, so, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.